President of the United States, Donald Trump, delivered his third State of the Union address before the Congress today in the middle of his impeachment trials, which received many mixed re reactions from the audience. One of the highlights of the night was when President Trump seemed to refuse to shake the hand of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, after which House Speaker Pelosi introduced him to the Congress without the customary ceremonious language. During the speech, there were pledges to defend gun rights, fight abortion rights with national ban on late-term abortions, repeated denunciations of illegal aliens, vows to never let socialism destroy American health care. Speaking about the terrorism and the ISIS movement, President Trump said, The barbarians of ISIS held over 20,000 square miles of territory, Iraq and Syria. Today, the ISIS territorial caliphate has been 100% destroyed and the founder and the leader of ISIS, a bloodthirsty killer known as al-Baghdadi, is dead. President Trump also spoke about the killing of Iranian General Qasim Soleimani, whose death drove the US to the brink of war with Iran. When asked as to why House Speaker Nancy Pelosi ripped a copy of President Trump's speech, she replied with, it's the courteous thing to do, considering the alternative. Moments from 2020 State of the Union Rush Limburg, the pro-Trump conservative radio host who was recently diagnosed with lung cancer, sat next to the First Lady Melania Trump who bestowed a surprise award, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The president also orchestrated a moving reunion between a soldier returning home from the Afghan war to his unsuspecting wife and children. He also awarded a fourth grade school student with a scholarship. Impeachment Throughout the 80-minute speech, which received standing ovations from the Republicans while many of the Democrats stay seated, President Trump avoided directly speaking about the ongoing impeachment trial. However, considering the passive-aggressive actions of both President and the House Speaker, who was the instigator of the trial, it was the inescapable elephant in the room. The Republican-led Senate was expected to acquit him of all charges that he abused his powers and obstructed the Congress.